on to kick it off for the Phoebus Phantoms, number 30, Moises Luna. is underway. Oh my God, what a yeah, picking the kickoff was Robert Briggs. He's tackled by number nine, Jalen Mayo, but a flag flies on the first plate. Preliminary signal is holding against the Blue Devils. against the Blue Devils will put the ball at the 20-yard line. Hopewell will work first and 10 from their own 20. Jalen Mayo, number nine of the painter. Gain of four for the Blue Devils on the play, third and six. about a handle's number four, Kimari Gray, he cruises in to the end zone for a few, but handle's touchdown. against Hopewell at 10.21 of the first quarter. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we got an update across the water. Uh, in the second quarter, it was Maury 13, Salem 0. Up at uh, New Kent versus Lafayette, it's 14-0 at the half. I'd like to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that with this afternoon we do have concessions available. It's under the ladies' uh, restroom side, or ladies' restroom alcove, on the home side. Uh, concessions are available, and visitors are invited to come over. Taking the kickoff to Sean Henderson, and he's tackled by the Phantoms number 21, Jordan Bass. Blue Devils return it up to outside of their 15-yard line. Ball's going to be marked on the 17. was Mason Cundin, number 15. He swarmed under in his own backfield. Leading the pack was number 11, Trivion Stevenson. marker on the plate. Preliminary signal is a holding call against the Blue Devils. Out of their five yard line. Good second and long. Come on, Dave, fast! Ah! Ah! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Come on. Come on. Picked off by Kamari Gray, taxis in for a feeble handsome touchdown. There was a penalty, a holding penalty. It is declined by the Phantoms. Touchdown signal good. Kick 
is up, Jigger sprinkles good. Anthem's tack on another seven for a 14 to 0 advantage over the Hopewell Blue Devils at 9.09 of the first quarter. Extra point tacked on by the Phantoms, number 30, Moises Luna, out of the hold of Kamari Drake. Taylor back. They're joined by number 21, Zion Hubbard, to deep to receive. Luna on the kick. Taking the kick off number 21, Zion Hubbard. He's Hit by number 26, Darius Matthews. in the back by number 88, Anthony Reddick, brought down, but the Blue Devils have a first down at their own 40. Carry. A tackle made by number 88, Anthony Riddick, on the initial contact. One yard gain makes it second and nine. intended for his receiver Briggs and it's going to be incomplete bringing up third and nine and is brought down his own backfield by Trevion Stevenson, number 11. Four or five yard loss, that's making it fourth and 15.
Mason Cumbie's punt is shanked off to the left and goes out of bounds over top of the 50-yard line. We'll wait for the spot. Ball is going to be spotted at the 49-yard line of the Blue Devils, where the Phoebus Phantoms will take over first and 10 with 7.09 remaining in the first quarter. second and four. contact on the play, I believe it was number 21, Zion Hubbard. <laughs> Loss on that play makes it third and five for the Phantom. Pass wheeled in by the Phantoms. Keyshawn drew it on the pattern. Number 12 makes the catch. We will have timeout on the field for an official measurement. See if the Phantoms got sufficient yardage for the first time. They already passed. How you going to at the measurement? They need the glasses. They need the glasses. Oh, my God. Dumb. I'd like to remind our visitors that concessions are available this afternoon on the home side yeah, in the ladies' restroom it. alcove. That's concessions available for purchase. Please come over. Feel yeah. free to come over and purchase yeah. concessions on the home side. have a first down. Ooh. 
Blue Devils give it to number 28 on the carry. That's Eric McDaniels. He's tackled immediately by number 25, Austin Gillen, up front for the Phantoms. Come on, do it fast. On the carry, Robert Briggs. On Briggs, number 25, Austin Gillen. Phantoms push him back for a loss. It'll be third and 19. Jermon Simon Davenport with a little bit of help from Emerson Hurd, number 35, on the tackle. Blue Devils get back some of the yardage. It'll be fourth and ten. Come on, defense! Back to take in the punt. Kamari Gray juggles it a bit. Signal for a fair catch. And the Phantoms will have the ball in their own territory. Cumbie's punt will put the Phantoms back on the 23. Seven, Tarion Taylor. Credit tackle to Eric McDaniels on first contact. Adams will have three yard gain, second and seven. Pass hits the intended receiver on the shoulder, falls incomplete. It'll be third and seven for the panel. time out on the field. This one charged to the Phoebus Phantoms. First of regulation in the first half. 246 remains in the first quarter. While we have a moment, I'd like to update you on another score in the Lake Taylor Warwick contest. End of the first quarter, scoreless tie. Lake Taylor 0, Warwick 0. Thank <laughs> you. 
Play resumes with the Phantoms facing a third and seven call. Kamari <laughs> Gray, number four, takes in the reception, shakes a couple of tacklers, and finally brought down by Robert Griggs, number two. But the Phantoms have enough yardage for a first down. Fraction occurs. Preliminary signal is that it'll be against the Blue Devil. Offside will cost them five yards and will make it first and five for the Phantoms. She's been doing things like this. <laughs> Carry Tarion Taylor snagged and brought down by number 28, Eric McDaniels. Another first down. Yeah. Taylor's run takes it out to just shy of the 49 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Phantoms from the 48. carry for the Phantoms, Tyrion Taylor. The initial tackle made by number 74, Landon Baker. Loss of a yard on the play. Second and 11. Reggie Ruffin of the Hopewell Blue Devils. Loss of another yard will make it third and 12. Before the snap, we have an infraction against the Phantoms. It'll be a delay of game. That'll cost them five more yards, put them in a third and 17 situation. Intended for the receiver, I read Harold, number eight. It'll be incomplete. Brings up a punting situation. Blue Devils drop number six, Jamarian Chavis, number seven, DJ Powell back. Pick 
it back here, man. Take it back here. Oh, oh no. no. Phantom putt is high and short. Comes down inside of the 40-yard line of the Blue Devils. It'll be marked at their 38, where the Blue Devils will take over. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that play brings to an end the first quarter of play with the Phoebus Phantoms up 14 to 0 over the visiting Hopewell Blue Devils. have a score update for you in the Churchland Warhill contest. At the end of the first quarter, Churchland is up eight to six over Warhill. That's Churchland eight, Warhill six at the end of the first quarter. I'd like to remind our fans that uh, visitors are cordially invited to purchase concessions on the home side. The concessions are being sold uh, in the women's restroom alcove, and you may come and cross over. First and ten from the Blue Devil, 38. Yeah, defense, we're going to do at the couple show here. <laughs> Come on, D. Get him, get him. Blue Devils give it to Robert Briggs. He goes right side, finally run out of bounds. Briggs marked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Gain of seven on that play, second and three. Mason Cumney keeping him carrying. Knocked down by number 21, Jordan Bass. It's going to be a holding call against the Blue Devils. The penalty will take them back to their 39-yard line. Before the snap, it's going to be a procedure call against the Blue Devils. False start. He's snagged by number 25, Austin Gillum, but there is a penalty marker on the plate. A 
holding call will be assessed to the Hopewell Blue Devils. Keep going all the way. It was Briggs on the carry, being bounced out of bounds by Travion Stevenson, number 11. <laughs> Briggs carry will bring the Blue Devils up to their own 32-yard line, where it will be third and 16. for Briggs, it'll be incomplete. Bring it up a fourth down. <laughs> Penalty on the plate. It is against the Blue Devils. The Phantoms will decline the penalty. Brings up fourth down. Gray and Truitt in double coverage on the punt. Javon Pruitt, number 16, tackled hard by number 10, Javon Jones, special teamer. Punt returner gets it back to the 40-yard line, and the Phantoms will take over from there with 11-1 left in the first half. Whistle stop and play. A timeout was called. This one will be charged to the Hopewell Blue Devils. Go, 
On the carry, Tarion Taylor making the tackle, Robert Briggs, number two, with an assist by number 28, Eric McDaniels. Taylor able to pick up two hard yards. It'll be second and eight. Jersey number 21, Zion Howard. Phantoms get it up to one yard shaft, first down, third and one. Fourth and one. DJ Powell moves back in single punt coverage to get Luna's punt. Punt is down by the Phantoms number 26, Darius Matthews. Luna's punt comes to rest at the 15 yard line. First and 10 for Hopewell from their own 15 yard line with 9.35 remaining in the first half. Come on defense. Get that backfield. Robert Briggs, number two, the ball carrier, making the tackle, number 35, Emerson Hurd. Too many yards! Briggs good for eight yards on the carry, second and two. Snap messes the hand up off to Briggs. He's downed for a loss. Loss of a couple of yards will make it third and four. Briggs on the carry, Phantom's left side, gang tackles him. <laughs> Have an official's timeout. <laughs> official's timeout for a measurement. Sure. It's 
sure, sure. <laughs> After the measurement, the Blue Devils face fourth and inches. Blue Devils give it to big number 28, Eric McDaniels. He falls ahead for first down yardage. Credit the first contact to 25, Austin Gillum. <laughs> McDaniels, the ball carrier. Malik Hardy, number 54, first in to stack him up. Gain of a couple of yards, second and eight. Come on, defense, get it together, hurry up! Watch that pass! Hit the quarterback! Joe Eliades with the carry. Couldn't get loose from number 88 of the Phantoms, Anthony Reddick. Third and five. Briggs, the ball carrier, credit to stop to number five, Jermon Simon, Simon Davenport. It'll be fourth and two. Sean Pruitt dropped back in double coverage. Lock it! Lock it! Mason Cumbie's punt stumbles out of bounds around the Phantom 45. Phantoms take over first and ten from their own 45 with 6-11 remaining in the first half. Yard line first and ten the Phantoms. Come on, off us. Oh, man. Oh, he's done. Jamari Gray, the Phantom ball carrier, stumbles in his own backfield. 
No gain on the play. Complete pass. up by number 22, Terrell Peoples of the Blue Devils. Ball goes over to the Ho Hopewell Blue Devils. They'll start out from the Phantom 49-yard line, first and 10 with 4.45 to go. Complete to number 10, Javon Jones making the tackle. Number 16, Kevon Pruitt. Gain of five yards, second and five. Come on, defense. Watch that corner. Keeping and carrying number 15, Mason Cumbie. He's snagged by the Phantoms number 16, Kevon Pruitt, but not before the Blue Devils get a first down inside the 35 at the 34. Hit everybody in the backfield! Hit that quarterback, man! He light him up! Light him up! On the keep and carry, Mason Cumbie. He's pursued and pushed out of bounds by Jermon Salmon Davenport, number five. Loss on the play of about two yards. Make it sec second and seven. Come on, defense. Get it together. Let's go. Hit everybody back there. Hit both. Hit both of them. Pass reeled in by D.J. Powell, making the tackle and take down number 21, Jordan Bass. Blue Devils have a first down on the play. Come on, Dan Bass! Hit both of them back there! Hit both of them! Robert Griggs, number two, the ball carrier. Credit the stop to number 21, Jordan Bass. Chivas Phantoms call timeout.
Come on, deep pants. God. <laughs> Players rooms with the Hopewell Blue Devils facing second and two from the six yard line of the Phoebus Phantom. Briggs, the ball carrier, knifing in for the tackle. Ivory Harrell, number eight. Come on, give us seven points. Just give us 30 points. You can guys kill. Like Loss of the yard. Third and three from the seven. Griggs takes the handoff, taxis into the end zone for a Hopewell Blue Devils touchdown. Kick is up, kick is signal good. Number 15, Mason Cumbie out of the hole of Joe. And the Iders has tacked on the extra point. Hopewell's on the board with seven and 2.52 remains in the second quarter of play. Have an updated score in the Churchland Warhill contest. Middle of the first quarter, Churchland up 14 to six over Warhill. Phantom send back number four, Kamari Gwere, number 12, Keyshawn Pruitt, number 27, Keontae Gray, back deep to receive. Mason Cumbie prepares to kick off for the Blue Devil. Kick off. Thank you. <laughs> Offside on the kickoff against Hopewell. takes the kickoff and is tackled by Khalil Murdoch, number one and number 24 on the play, Dakota Jacobs. Ball marked at the 33, Phantoms will take over first and 10 with 2.47 remaining in the half. 
Kamari Gray tackling him on the play. Khalil Murdoch, number one. Pass play good for a yard, second and nine. Gray makes the catch, knee touches the ground, he is downed. Loss of a couple of yards will make it third and 11. Phoebus <laughs> Phantoms call timeout. That is their final timeout of the first half. Date in the contest between Lafayette and New Kent. Lafayette up 35 to 0 late in the fourth. Feeds back to pass, sacked by number 30 on the play, Reggie Ruffin. In on the play, Nasir Bennett, number 66. Seven yard line. Timeout called by the Hopewell Blue Devils. Lock up front. Kick that ball. 
Keyshawn Pruitt. Ball will be marked at the 42 yard line of Blue Devils. Mason Cumbie, number 15. Tackle by number 5, Jamon Salmon Davenport. There was a penalty marker at the 45 yard line. Preliminary indication is it will be against Hopewell. There's a false start with the preliminary signal. Marion Chavis. Initial contact on the play by the Phantoms number 15, David Cousins. Second and 10. Blue Devils give it to Robert Briggs. He plows ahead. And number 70 on the initial contact, Michael McMullen. There was a penalty marker thrown on the plate. Timeout signal and called in for Hopewell. That is the final timeout of the half for the Hopewell Blue Devil.
With 28 seconds remaining in the first half, play will resume. Second and 15 for the Blue Devils. Pass play nearest to the ball was number five. Jermon Simon Davenport falls incomplete. No other down there. Or out. Or out. Even at the at the sort of five is lump too. <laughs> Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. On the carry, number 15, Mason Cumbie, making the tackle for the FIBA Phantoms was Kamari Gray. Come on, Dave! That play will end the first half with the Phoebus Phantoms up 14 to seven over the Hopewell Blue Devils. Phantoms deploy number two. That's Jeremiah White, Kamari Gray, and number 27, Keontae Gray, back deep to receive. On to kick it off to start the second half. Mason Cumbie, number 15. Taking a kick off and returning it. Number 27, Giante Gray. He is finally wrestled to the ground by number 24, Dakota Jacobs. Phantoms will get it at their own 29-yard line. Keeps and carries. Contact by Eric McDaniels to stop him up. Gain of a yard. Number 60, Josiah Moss. Knock back for a yard, third and ten. Contact number 21, Zion Hubbard. Lee gets no gain, fourth and ten. Jamarian Chavis and DJ Powell taxi back in punt formation.
Phantom punt marked out of bounds at the 42-yard line of the Blue Devils. the ball carrier, making the stop, number 70, Michael McMullen. No gain on the play, second and 10 for the Blue Devils. shaken up on the field. facing third and one. Hit everybody back there! Come on, man! Robert Briggs, the ball carrier. Number two, a tackle by the Phantoms. Number nine, Jalen Mayo. But the Hopewell Blue Devils have a first down. ball carrier first in on top of him was number 70 Michael McMullen help on the play from number 25 Austin Gillum gain of yard second and nine Mason Cummy, the ball carrier. In on the play, number 54, Malik Hardy. Loss on the play. It'll be third and 11. intended for DJ Powell number seven defending on the play number 16 Kevin Pruitt Kevin Pruitt defends successfully and will bring up fourth down for the Blue Devils Oh, 
Punt is down by number one, Khalil Murdoch, inside the 25 yard line. Phantoms will take over from their own 24 yard line, first and 10, 6.57 remaining in the third quarter. for the Phantoms, Jeremiah White, number two, knocking him down, number seven, D.J. Powell on the defense, gain of four yards, make it three yards, second and seven. Jeremiah White on the carry, strung out to his right, finally brought down by number 10, Javon Jones. Loss of about two yards on the play. Third and seven. Before the snap, a penalty marker is dropped. It will be a penalty against the Phantom substitution infraction. First down, yardage for the Peter Sanders. Phantoms push the ball out to their own 48-yard line, first and 10. Great a ball carrier. Give the initial contact to Eric McDaniels with an assist from the left side of the Blue Devils line. Second and five Phantoms. Carry on 
Taylor, number seven, the ball carrier for the Phantoms, picks up the first down yard. Up, Stop let's made go. by Reggie Ruffin, number 30 of the Blue Devil. Hurry up, let's go! Keep going, keep going. Hurry up, let's go! You're getting tired! Pass caught by Kamari Gray. On the tackle up ending in Javon Jones, number 10. Let's go up, let's go! Phantoms have it just short of first down yardage, second and one. Mark Wagner calls his own number, keeps and carries. Phantoms have a first down. Ball marked at the 26 yard line of Hopewell. Fibas first and 10. Handoff went to Tyrion Taylor and knifing in for the tackle, number one, Khalil Murdoch for the loss. Loss of five yards will make it second and 15 for the Phantom. Play. Wagner keeps and carries and is brought down by Eric McDaniels. We'll wait to see what the laundry dictates. Preliminary signal is a targeting call against the Hopewell Blue Devils. Personal foul, targeting, assessed against the Hopewell Blue Devils. Yeah. That'll take the ball down to the 15 yard line. And Phoebus will be operating in a first down.
ball carrier runs right into the winning arms of number three, Katyn Taylor. Run them over next time! Two yard loss to make it second 12. Receiver number nine, Jalen Mayo for a single at home touchdown. Fifteen yard pass play completion from Mark Wagner to Jalen Mayo for the Phantom touchdown. go up 21 to 7 over the Hopewell Blue Devils with six seconds remaining in the third quarter.
Come on, defense. Quarter begins first and ten. Blue Devils from Maryland 38. Pass! Pass intended for Javon Jones, number 10, knocked down by Jalen Mayo, number 9 of the Phantoms, who'll be second and 10. Secondary making the tackle number 21, Jordan Bass. Pop that quarterback, man. Blue Devils get that first down. They're penetrated into Phantom territory. Robert Briggs, number two, the Blue Devil ball carrier. Initial contact on the play, I agree, Harrell of the Phantom. It'll be second and five. Come on, defense! Too many yards! Hit him in the backfield! Hit both of them! Hit both of them in the backfield! Pass! Yeah! Yeah! Mason Cubby feeds back to pass. Right on top of him for the sack. Number 70, Michael McMullen. Phantoms knock them back in the Blue Devil territory at their own 49. Third and 13. Come on, man! No penalties! A penalty marker was thrown. Penalty will be against the Phantoms for unsportsmanlike conduct. First and ten from the 36. Mason McCombie. There may have been a penalty marker on that play. The issue may be that the player was down. Sideline warning being issued. 
It's against the Peepish Phantoms. The player was marked down, and it'll bring up second down. Second and seven for the Blue Devils. Hit that quarterback! Yeah! Intended receiver was number 22, Terrell Peoples. He was defended by Kamari Gray, number four, and number 21, Jordan Bass. Pass is overthrown in the end zone. Bring up third and seven. Catch made by DJ Powell, number seven, making the tackle by number 26, Darius Matthews. Don't let him catch that ball no more. It's a Blue Devil first down at the 28. Taking off and running, number 15, Mason Cumbie finally caught from behind, number 21, Jordan Bass, flag at the tail end of the play. Stop doing stupid stuff! <laughs> Two penalty markers on the play. Personal foul against the defense. Late hit is accepted against the Phantoms. It'll be first and goal. Ball marked at the one yard line. They're gonna run the ball. Get up in that backfield. That's all you gotta do. Get that backfield. Snap goes to Cumby and he fumbles and he's covered by Austin Gillum on the play. Gillum's shaking up on the play. With 9.35 remaining in regulation, we have a timeout on the field. from the seven. Brooks takes the handoff. There is a penalty marker on the play. He runs into the end zone. Preliminary signal from the referee is the illegal use of the hands, hands to the back against the Blue Devils. Oh, my 
Second goal from the 19 for the Blue Rebels. Passes in it in the end zone for DJ Powell. Depending on the play, he was number 26 there. It's Matthews. Pass knocked away, incomplete. Brings up third and 19. Intended in the end zone for the Blue Devils receiver DJ Powell incomplete. Fourth down. Have an official timeout on the field. This one will be charged to the Vivas Phantoms with 9-11 remaining in the fourth quarter. stops play. It'll be a procedure call, so start against the Blue Devils. for number 22, Terrell Peoples will be incomplete in the end zone, successfully defended by the secondary of the Thebus Phantoms. Ball will go over on down. There was a penalty marker on the previous play. It'll be a half the distance to the goal penalty. It 
It'll be fourth and goal for the Blue Devils on the Phoebus 14. keeps and carries and this time he's attacked from the back by Travion Stevens at number 11 and brought down and the ball will go from down to the Phantom. at the 12-yard line where the Phantoms will take over first and 10. behind by number 28, Eric McDaniels. Five-yard game for the Phantoms, second and five. Number seven, Tyrion Taylor, stumbles in the backfield, falls forward. Gain of a yard, third and four. Another pin keeps and carries. Finally chased out of bounds by number 22, Toronto Peoples. Phantoms have a first down. All day long. Ball marked at the 40-yard line. 7.23 remains in the fourth quarter. Phoebus Phantoms. We have a final score in the Churchland Warhill contest. Churchland has prevailed 38 to 12 over Warhill. Churchland 38, Warhill 12 in a final.
Ball at the Phoebus 40, first and 10 for the Phantoms. goes to the second cutter, Tarion Taylor. He's pounced on by number 74, Landon Baker. One yard gain on the play, second and nine. timeout and this will be their final of the of the half with 637 remaining Number 51, Trey Reigns. Davis and Powell back before we can get the snap off whistles. It's a substitution infraction, and the initial the initial uh, point is toward the Blue Devils. So now it'll be fourth and one.
Roll out of action. Beavers had the first down. Bog squirted loose. Hopewell appears to have recovered. up on the Hopewell 32 where the Blue Devils take over and prepare to operate first and 10 with 4.54 remaining in regulation. Pass intended for the Blue Devils, Joe Eliades and he was defended on the play by the Phantoms. Jalen Mayo was in on the defense. That is an incomplete pass. Hit that quarterback! Pass! Swing pass intended for Robert Briggs. Can't bring it in. That's an incomplete pass. Third and ten for the Blue Devils. Initially by number 70, Michael McMullen, and the center of the FIFA's defenders. taken in by Robert Briggs, defending on the play number nine, Jalen Mayo. It appears the Phantoms have stopped the Blue Devils short. And the ball will go over to the Peter Phantoms on down with 346 remaining in regulation. Tyrion Taylor knifing in on the tackle. Khalil Murdoch, number seven. A loss of three on the play. I need to flag up there. You got a block. Brings up second and 13. Hopewell six yard line. 
First and goal, Phoebus Phantoms from the Hopewell Six. Initial contact given the number 51 Trey Rains. Come on, Ethel, we're gonna cut it down at the game, it's a turnover. <laughs> now they change at the floor at the fevers. Uh -huh. Mosquito. Come on, come on, offense. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Pass complete over the middle. From Wetland to number four, Kamari Gray for Phoebus. Have him. Touchdown. before the kickoff. <laughs> There'll be a penalty against the Phantoms before the kickoff can occur. Procedure call against the Phantoms. Kickoff will come from the 35.
Kickoff return by Jamarian Davis, number six. Tackle made by number 80 of the Phantoms, Caleb Bailey, but there is a penalty marker on the return. It's a penalty against the phantom. The preliminary signal is it's a face mask. That'll tack on extra yardage for the Blue Devils. Face mass penalty against the Phoebus Phantoms put the balls at the Phantom 27. First and 10 for the Blue Devils, 154 remains. Jordan Bass. Play gains five yards, second and five. Sean Stevenson. Come on, defense! Just get your back, Phil. That's all you gotta do. Carrier stopped by Malik Ruffin, number 35 here Emerson Hurd. Clock rolls to zero. Phantoms roll on in the semifinals. 